Hi guys, Clevinghouse here. Short update for the APC40 to the Vichy Resolve controller. Um, since the last uh, big change involving uh, the mapping of all effects, um, I've been able to map 15 uh, DaVinci Resolve all effects. But I was thinking like, okay, uh, where does it go? Because I've mapped most of the key uh, DaVinci Resolve effects, but for sure there are all effects which you like more or you use for only one project or there's some third party all effects. So yeah, it would be amazing if you'd be able to map yourself using some sort of custom mapping mechanism. And guess what? That's exactly what I figured out using all of these toolkits I've uh, been developing lately. All this scripting and, and open source stuff. So uh, yeah, here we go. So let's say we have a plugin we really like for one specific project, let's say abstraction. And uh, we want to map this out. Because currently if I press the all effects uh, the tag button, you'll see not supported because it's not pre-mapped. So what do we do? Well, you press the button a bit longer and then you get custom all effects. So now you're in custom all effects mode and you have three buttons uh, that uh, give you access to different banks and different control functions. So the buttons next to here. So the first one um, shows you in orange which bank is currently selected, so it's back one. And the other four banks are <coughs> not selected and they're also empty because they're not flashing. And bank one is flashing, so there's something in there. Let's say we don't want that. So we go to the last one, which is erase. And then you see the bank one flashing in, in red. And if we press it, we will erase the whole bank. So, bank is clear. So, nothing in there, but it is selected. So we start from scratch. So we start recording something. So we press the record button and we touch one of the knobs where we want to uh, store information. So what do we do? Let's say we have all these different uh, controls here like pre-blur, abstraction, so let's start mapping them all and we also map these two checkboxes. So we go one by one. So we put the mouse where we want the control to map, we press the record button and we touch and we let go. And now you have control. So if you do that fast, you go one by one. So we go to the next one, we map it on the second, go to the third one, and map it on the third, we go to the fourth one, map it on the fourth, and the fifth one. Let's say we map it on the next row. And then these three we map it on the top row for whatever reason. Last one, and we map these little checkboxes to one of the three available. So let's say this one, and this one I map to this one, and let's map the reset button to this one. So it should be fully mapped, right? Here, all the knobs functioning. We have five. We had mapped here, these three controls, we map the checkboxes and the reset button. Fully mapped. Bank one. So let's say we have another, what's something, let's say directional blur. Ah, it's a small one, nothing much to do there, doesn't matter. So if you look, bank one is active, has something in there, so let's switch to bank two. Switch to bank 2. So now if you see bank 2 is active. Bank 1 is still flashing because it has something in there we just mapped. Bank 2 is empty at the moment. Let's put stuff there. So let's put blur strength on knob 1, blur angle on knob 2, and blend on knob 3. This we can't map. We're using this custom mapping. Uh, I can map it if I do it myself using the, the complete uh, toolkit, but for this function we can, I'm limited to uh, uh, the horizontal controls and checkboxes. Yeah, so let's see if it worked. So map this one, map this one. I think one we didn't map for whatever reason. Maybe I misclicked it. So let's see one, and now we should have one. Yeah, so one, two, three, all mapped. So, if we want to go back to another, ba another bank, yeah, go back to, um, oh, Warren Bank 2, sorry, let's go back to Bank 1, 
and then we select our other uh, what was it again? abstraction I guess, yeah abstraction so we should be able to control abstraction yeah. and like with the other uh, normal OFX functions if you switch to another function, you go to a page, you come back yeah, you still maintain your settings yeah. so fully mapped um, custom five pages um, you have some uh, reset functions so if I go to the last uh, so we sit we're now in bag one yeah. so let's say I don't like the the pre blur I don't want to replace it with something else but I don't like this button now uh, map so I press the reset button or the clear button and I touch the control I want to clear and now that's cleared yeah. now so now it doesn't function anymore the other ones still function if I want to clear the whole bank I press the bank button while I keep the clear button pressed so visual feedback on the status of banks if there's something in there or not eh, with flashing, with colors if you are recording, it's in red and you basically have five banks of each bank 16 knobs and three uh, toggles and any effect control that has controls which you can control with your uh, mid mouse wheel so if you go on the here you test it, you go with your mid mouse wheel and it works then you can map it using this function other types you can't map with this uh, ok I think uh, that's it um, oh, maybe a small one um, for people who like Paul Doors uh, plugins I've uh, met one of his uh, very cool let me see where it is. Um, film grade plugins. There we go. Film grade. So now I can switch uh, to exposure control saturation page, or I can switch to the shadow, mid, and high page. And all these controls are mapped in a smart way. Where I have, like, on the bottom, I have the shadows, mid tones, highlights, and then the red shadow, mid tone, highlight green, shadow meter highlights, blue, etc. On the outside I have shadow and pivot, uh, highlight pivot and similar to uh, exposure and uh, contrast saturation where I have on the outside I have then the contrast pivot and the rest is similar so I have here exposure, contrast, saturation and then red, green and blue uh, this layout is a custom layout that's made because it made it, made it easier to map and just recompile it. You can do it yourself or I can uh, deliver this uh, template so that you can compile it or pre-compiled version, whatever you prefer if you like this plugin. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's, uh, just recognize it. Um, okay, that's it. Any questions, just mail me. Uh, thank you very much.